Okay, so welcome everybody to the Heavyweight Championship for the Deluxe Battle League, the DXBL as we know it. These are the top eight monsters after season one. Uh, gonna be a lot of fun. We got two Undines, which is unsurprising. Basically top tiers, and then we got an ape who's been very consistent in Mango. And we've got Kato Sukiko, who is currently the top seed. You know, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okane Kane is the people's champ, we all know about him. Uh, La Muerte, the very first heavyweight champion, uh, sorry, first heavyweight monster to win in the league, and then, uh, you know, he's been hanging out since. Tramp Sam won once, and uh, has been a little bit inconsistent since, so he's a little bit of a wild card, even though he does technically have an entire tournament victory. Mango, Game Girl, Nostromus, and Juvia. Uh, Juvia, I think, has only been in one tournament. Uh, Juvia was also in uh, the Deluxe Cup. You know, it's an Undine. It's a good build. She's doing well. Nostromus has been around since the beginning. Uh, hasn't fought in a couple of weeks, but it is very strong as well. And uh, Gamer Girl is basically the optimal Undine build. And Mango, the ape who could, the most consistent monster who hasn't actually won a tournament. I would say it's probably top three in consistency in the entirety of Heavyweight. So there's a lot of... Uh, monsters who can win this whole thing. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Sam's either going 0-7 or 7-0, and no in between, you know. Live dangerously. It is what it is. So Kiko and Okane are your two biggest faves here, you think? But I love most of these mons. That's a nice way to say you dislike a couple of them. That's very, very, uh, diplomatic of you. It was a glorious finals, it really was. It went to a game 9 once again. Finish combining getting text for your future low tier entry. He's gonna suck, but it's a fun build. What are you doing? Did you say what you were doing earlier in the chat? Let's see if I can find it. I can't find it. I can't find it. Intelligence Arrowhead? That's cool. Okay, you got about five seconds left. We got 5k on Tsukiko and 7k on Juvia. Looking forward to Lob Zombie, but he's ninth. I know. He was, he was barely, barely didn't make the cut. He has the same win rate as Jubia. It just has like two less ELO or something. It's so close. After like 30 minutes, because you got a raid and you'll be listening. Well, right on. I hope for your sake, Gamer Girl does well tonight. Just a non Undine fan, no hate, just not a fan. You know, I. Uh, we already know how I feel. Juvia wins game one with the Hailstorm. I like how Hailstorm is like six chunks of hail that drop in the same place. Just like vertical, just bop, 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 bop. Crushes his skull. Dual attack's gonna land. How much damage? 389. Nice arrow at 52. It's gonna land as well. No crit on either of those moves. These are both high crit builds. The anger from Tsukiko, maybe not the best time. Get angry. Juvia is going to take that one 2-0. Two minutes for that. Next up we got Okane Kane and Nostromus. Nostro. It's been a while since we've seen Nostro. Flying Penguin and Old Feist. Two new members of the community, both doing very well with their monsters so far. Uh, prediction is live. Who do you like? I'm going to make it 30 seconds this time. There we go. Nostrum is historically bad against Monsterio. That's true. The low speed doesn't uh, help that much. He's also got really low life. I just realized, is Nostromus under the cap? He was made with... You know, oh, it's because his intelligence is over. It's because his intelligence is over by two. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He's been pretty good, though. Law Pinch, big damage. Opener, 800. Seven second KO. That'll do it. God damn. 
Kani Kani with the game one. Boss Hold Miss at 57. Nostromus gets a hit. Ooh, big crit on the tail attack. He's in wing combo range. Oh, you know, that shit never lands. Just a flex under stack cap. Still made it to top eight. Got a uh, two shot, though. He's still hanging in there, but trample at 32. He swings it. Oh. And the long punch. Okani Kani's going to take that. That's a quick 2 0. Next up, we got La Muerte and Gamer Girl. La Muerte does not like Undine that much. It's, it's not a great build versus Undine. It's a pretty good build otherwise. It's just it's a hard uh, match to win against a monster that has a fast guts rate and does a lot of withering on their own. Hey. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Who's your favorite here? Do you like the Joker? I've seen Joker. Is Joker the only monster to appear in all three top eights? I think so. We had Harvester. Who did we have in Lightweight? I don't remember. It was um, Potemkin. Bacon. Bacon walking around. Buddy. Can I say hi? I'm no bacon. He just money. wanted to show me something. Did he walk well, away when I stood up? Yeah, he was trying to uh, lead me somewhere. Hey, it's poker time. Thank you. We'll go get bacon later. But he was like, hey, I want to show you something. And then showed me his toy monkey. And then that was that. Okay, and Gamer Girl with the big damage opener. Ooh. I want to play video games. I'm here to complain about my monster sucking. Vivid, thank you. Four months already, damn. Appreciate your support as always. He's just proud of his monkey. He's got so many monkeys. He's a monkey man. Muerte still doesn't land in an attack. He's in He's the range to just here. eat those ice swords, though. And the double smash. The water gun. He's Ape Gang. He's a Mango fan. Gamer Girl wins game one. Water cannon opener. Look at that. Big damage, big withering. La Muerte doesn't get anger. He's not in an angry mood. This is the death punch. He got about the same amount of guts. It's the death smash that time. Decent amount of damage, a little bit of withering. Gamer Girl can do big damage, or in that case, big withering. And no anger once again. Wow. This, yeah, this is pretty rough. Old Fog, he's probably gonna live that, yes. Both monsters can attack. It's the death punch at 48. Water gun's gonna land, do we see a grit? We don't. Gamer Girl's gonna win that one. Slow rolls it. Into a 2 0. Joker and Undine wouldn't get along. I feel like Joker wouldn't get along with anybody, though. Tram Sam and Mango, our last match of round one. So that went to Undines. Both Undines oh, have won their round one. Yo, the five gifted? Damn, Vivid, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the support. Hanging out. Helping the channel, you know? Hey. Tram Sam and Mango.
Joker and Tricker, don't talk to me or my son ever again. Yeah, we were talking about that the other day, how a lot of um, the subbreeds on Raki are kind of like the Corgis of Monster Rancher. Like, have you ever seen, like, Corgi mixed breeds? Like, a Corgi mixed with a Husky is just, like, a small Husky. Or, like, a Corgi mixed with a German Shepherd is just a small German Shepherd. It's kind of like that. I like how Centaur Joker canonically hates Joker. It's like Joker built him. He's like an automaton or something, right? It's the slap. And another one. Ooh, is Mango gonna win game one? Looks like it. Okay. Roll Assault opener misses. Cramps I'm getting out of the way of that. Giant whip at 44, swings it. Ooh, big damage there in Kamikaze. Do we see the one two? We don't see the one two. See another giant whip. Three in a row. Baku needs that corgi booty. He needs a little heart shaped butt. Damn, the thwack with power. Oh my god. Man's thwacking his way to victory. Doing what he does best. So let's take a look at the bracket after one round. It was up earlier, right? Like, why is it not up now? Um... Like, I'm not going crazy, right? Yeah, it was up earlier. It's, uh... Damn, what the fuck? That's my Twitter. Why is it showing my Twitter? I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that was. Anyway, we're back. Uh, so, that's after one round. Look at that. We got Okane Kane, Mango, Gamer Girl, and Juvia with wins. Okane Kane and Mango, and then the Undines. Both of them have won. The next match, we got Tsukiko and Nostromus. So, who won the last one? Mango won the last one. Prediction is live. That's a pretty good bet, too. 5 to 1 odds. 4 to 1 odds. Can you name for the low tier tournament? Something dignified? Yeah, I don't know what we're going to call it. Okay, here we go. You're making a Baku clown? Nice. Slamming down misses. Kiko, 50 guts a lead. What's it gonna do with it? Even just base expands pretty good here. Misses. Press claw misses as well. Nostromus getting back into this. Goes for trample at 30. Ooh, hits it. That's probably KO. The grit though. Turn claws going to miss at 54. Osmus has a good chance to win this. Another turn claws misses. Damn, all these 50 50s and above missing. Sukiko so hasn't hit anything. 49 has been the lowest chance to hit for him. Missed 70s. My uh, my pulling on my mouse just got all fucked up. There we go. It's back to normal now. Dodge a lot for its low speed. Yeah. Mmm. The big opener slamming down. Wow, that's gonna be rough. 
It's the turn claw, free 18. Crit turn claw will win it. Wing attack is going to miss as it, you know, it does. That's what it does. Flash claws 65. How much? 483. There's the grit though. Both monsters have grit once. Wing attack at 63, going to miss again. Sukiko saying, I don't like how that last one went. My turn to dodge everything. I lied. I'm going to get hit by the wing attack. Nostromus with the grit comeback wins that one 2 0. Sukiko goes 0 and 2 in its first two matches. Rough start. Okane Kane and Gamer Girl up next. One of the only two monsters that have beaten Okane Kane in his entire life. Not just in this league, just but in general. Gamer G. Okay, choose prediction. I went, damn, you guys are betting wrong on everything, eh? Screwed for monster, you'd rather draw since you'd want to do art. Yeah, that's true. Hey, even if you're not as fast as Mads, still uh, make the art, you know? I want to see it. I'll still post it in the winner circle. Okay. So that's a win for Nostromus. And here we go. Kane Kane versus Gamer Girl. It's the Hidden Sting. He's in range for the Claw Assault. Doesn't go for it. The water cannon at 60. Ooh, big retaliation. Huge withering on that. The anger. You know, not a bad time to get anger. Not a terrible time to get anger. Game Girl does have a pretty expensive tech loadout. Claws health on the 50-50. Misses that. What did the bets look like? 46 on Okane Kane. 54 on Gamer Girl. Ooh. There's the grit. He's got 40 guts. He can do some work here. Bob pinch at 42. Oh my god. Okane Kane is going to die before he misses a claw pinch. That's his slash combo. It's the hidden sting. 358. Water gun gonna miss at 69. Ooh. Random champs plot armor. Can't be beat. Old Fog can do a little bit of damage. 160. Instinct at 68. Goes for it again. That's going to be enough to kill. Okane Kane wins that one 2 0. Again, the start of our night has no 2 1s. All sweeps. Oops, all sweeps. 3 and 5. We got La Muerte and Mango up next. So once again, you guys bet wrong. <laughs> oh man. Is that going to be the theme of the night? Nobody can get the bet right. Muerte and Mango. It's kind of interesting because be- Oh. Too many monsters named Mango. Uh, it's funny because before predictions became a thing on Twitch, people would have to use like bots and stuff to bet. And there wasn't like a nice way to do it. Basically, for every channel I watched, like Engine and Jack of Hearts and everyone else, they had a betting system that was just like, if you bet correctly, you doubled your points. So if it was like a monster with max stats versus a monster with one in every stat, you could just go all in on the monster with max stats and like du duplicate your, your points over and over again. And, uh... This weighted betting system is definitely the better way to do things, I think. Yeah, prediction is live. I think a lot of people bet for who they want to win more than who they think will win. I mean, that's fair. I totally do that, too. Okay. Wakane Kane at 2-0, and doing what he does best, which is just... Winning. Mango and La Muerte. La Muerte with a loss, Mango with a win. 
Who's got it? Find out. Ooh. Good damage on the opener. Roll Assault. He, he needs to do some damage. He doesn't have any other techs. He's just got the basics and Roll Assault. The double death punch. The double crit. That'll do it. Ape versus Tank Joker. Not very fun for Ape. Yeah. It's, uh... It's a little bit rough. He basically needs La Muerte to swing, like, a death scythe or something first and miss it. Two hits, two crits. Someone call... What's his name? Vince. Someone call Vince. Let him know. Maybe we'll get a visit from Vince later. The triple death punch. So La Muerte literally didn't miss a single attack. 50-50, five times in a row. Do the math on that shit. What is that? That's 50, 25, 12.5, uh, 6.75, or no, 6.25, uh, 3.125, 3%. chance for that to work out the way it did. After missing everything last time? Yeah. That's how it works. Hell yeah. Cheers. But I get yeah, back no, to work. Have fun, Rancher. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Murder Man. Hope you're having a fantastic night. Appreciate the 150 biddies. And again, another 2-0. No 2-1s. We're not allowed to 2-0. We're not allowed to 2-1, sorry. Uh, what's our last match of two? We got Tramp Sam and Juvia. Prediction outcome. That goes to... You guys bet on the majority on that one. You got to attack two times. Yeah. I mean, you got withered down super hard. You got hit by every attack. It was, it was pretty rough. Tram Sam's so cute. He's smiling. He's just trying to get people to work on time, you know? Please defeat the Undines so you don't have to fight them. That's true, I guess. If the Undines get bad records, you're, uh, you've got a better shot at winning the whole thing, eh? These little wheel feats. They're just floating. Man hasn't heard of Axles. Ooh, big damage on the Juvia. Splash gonna miss at 45. Giant Whip hits at 42. That's game one. I lied. Juvia gets the grit. Still in it. Not out yet. Arrow at 55 misses. Another giant whip. Tramp Sam just swinging the heavy attacks. Doesn't care about those incredibly powerful basic attacks, you know? Doesn't care about how powerful the, the phase attack is. Also, can we talk about how Ice Coffin had a very strange animation there? Because it like tried to uh, encompass the entirety of Color Pandora, so it was like a very long coffin instead of like the regular dome it does. That was kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen that. Angry face attack. Misses. But that's it. Tram Sam can't finish off Juvia, but does win game one. She measured for that coffin. Oh. What do they say? Measured twice. Ice coffin once. Kamikaze at 70, ooh, a little bit of damage to Tramp Sam on that miss. Arrow at 55, good crit there. Anger, bad, 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 bad time to get Anger. Juvia is going to win game two. We finally have a 2-1. It took us eight games, but we have a game going to game three. Or a set going to game three, I should say. neat that Ice Coffin is a unique shape for each target. Yeah, I've never noticed it before, though. It's kind of a rare tech. You don't see it too often. Not to say it's a bad tech or anything. I think it's pretty good. Oh, it misses. Kamikaze at 78. Damn, the double 70s miss against Juvia. 
Those 40s are landing, but the 70s will not. It's the two swings. Crits for 400 damage. Loser with 69 health. Prox the power. That is pretty nice. Power aqua waves off 69 health. God damn. What a BM ending to that. Juvia wins that one 2 1. I think the. Is the Owen 7 gonna happen? Is he gonna get Owen Wilsoned? Okay, let's take a look at the standings after that. So we got Tsukiko with two losses, and we got uh, Tram Sam with two losses. Rough start for both of them. Okani Kani's got two wins. Juvia's got two wins. La Muerte, Mango, Gamer Girl, Nostromus, all one and one. How do you raise your Undines to not spam Ice Sword? I don't know. The It's luck. <laughs> Sam hasn't hit a kamikaze in two weeks, and got brain damage from one of them, and just hasn't been able to aim since. Tsukiko and Gamer Girl. So that went to Juvia. Prediction is live. Who do you like? So Kani Kani is seriously going to win this on top of the DX Cup run? He might. Too bad Twiddle Me This isn't in here, you know? Between Twiddle Me and This and Gamer Girl, Kani Kani doesn't stand a chance. I'll stop him if it comes down to it. I'm built different. My Joker is built different because he's a tank. I feel that. The Joker is literally built different. Everyone else is built the same. Okay, so Slash Claw missing. Oh, into the Turn Claws at 39? That's pretty big damage. Gets real immediately. Oh, fuck you. I get hit by the Water Gun? I don't care. Slash Claw 56? Oh, it misses, and real has worn off. Tsukiko needs to finish this now. And he might not even be able to do it with Slash Claw. It'll be close with Slash Claw. He needs to dodge everything, though. He's doing a good job. I cannot believe how slow that Guts Regen is. That is painful. Is he going to Slash Claws? Oh, he's going to dodge the Splash. He's got a 20 Guts lead. He's biding his time. He's like, I got one shot. I got one opportunity. Slash Claw 59. He hits it. It's not enough to kill, even with the Guts lead, but there's the Ice Sword. Oh my god. Tsukiko, dodging for his life. Wins game one. That real- if he got hit by anything, he would have died. The only thing that would have maybe survived was the Cold Fog. Our cannon miss at 53. Slash Claws opener, 400 damage. You can swing it again if he wants to kill. My sword, obviously not what Gamer Girl wants. Slash Claws again, 59. Misses that time. Gamer Girl's got 40 guts. Swing Water Gun. Drill Claw at 50. 572 and no grit. Tsukiko is finally on the board. Gets his first win of the tournament. 2-0 over Gamer Girl. Uh, who's next? Okane Kane and Mango. So that went to Tsukiko. Exactly 50-50 on that one. 4.7k on both monsters. Okane Jr. in the freezer too. He's cheering on his dad. So Tsukiko with a win on Gamer Girl, but a loss on Juvia. Interesting. Tsukiko kind of needs to win everything at this point, I think. To win two losses immediately is really, really rough to come back from. As we've seen. 
And that's with regards to like winning the whole tournament. That's not with regards to like doing well. Because it is just straight up whoever gets the best record is the champ. There's no top four going through an elimination bracket or anything like that. Thwack, 60%. Boxum, both at about half health. Okani Kani with slightly more life than Mango. Slap, hits, won't kill, but decent damage. Another hidden sting at 66, misses. Mango in a good spot. Pushes him away. Almost looks like he wants the roll assault, but he doesn't go for it. Gets hit with the punch. Proc's power. Slap will kill now. May have killed before. Yeah, it would have done 300 damage before. Mango's had practice on a Tarbell Errant Tree. Uh, has he though? He doesn't have a single hit deck. The roll assault, the instant kill. Oh my god. Boss all gonna miss at 53. He grits though. Okani Kani's still hanging in there. Got the heart of a champion. Long punch hits. Good 400 damage there. Okani Kani can attack again immediately if he wants. It doesn't though. Just hanging out. Another long punch. Oh, not enough to kill. Mango has enough guts. Swings the thwack at 57. That's going to do it. Mango is gonna win that one 2-0. The monkey does it. The monkey does it. I would proudly be a monkey's uncle if Mango was my nephew. La Muerte and Tram Sam. Uh, it would help if I spelt it right at all. La Muerte. Ramsam. Tram Ram. Okay. So, damn, 27%. That's a good payout for you guys. Four times payout? Okay, predictions live. Who do you like? Actively rooting against Okane and the Undines. Well, I mean, considering La Muerte is your monster, I think that makes sense. Wish there was an ape tiger. The little, the little black nose that all the tiger subs have. Okay. Kind of, kind of sick. You also don't have a monster in this tournament. It's a very different feeling when you gotta fight it. JP, how are you doing? Angry Lam Tram Sam. Not La Muerte. Another death punch. It's not enough to kill though. Giant whip with the guts lead. Anger not gonna help out that much. Meteor drive. Tram Sam knows. He knows. It's what it takes. 500 damage. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The first time he's used it all night. That's why it's there, though. But then you also have this. So, you know, easy come, easy go. Death Flash, miss at 40%. The one death punch adds up to more than all of those consecutive face attacks. Hits another death punch into the yellow. And a third, that's gonna kill. La Muerte punching his way to a game three. All this while terrified passengers look on for horror. Dude, imagine if you're on that train and it does meteor drive. Just like, oh god, oh no. What's happening here? He's face attack and lost, I know. Hits the death punch. Hits it again. Good crit. God damn. Ram Sam gets back up. There's the real. No anger. Giant whip. Kind of a good attack to use here. Good damage. Even through the real. And 
runs down the clock unreal pretty badly. Okay, so now whatever he's got can kill, misses the death slash. He has nothing left in the tank. Kamikaze, this will kill. Omorte's got to hope for a grit. He doesn't get it. Tramp Sam is on the board. No 0 and 7 for him tonight. Maybe he's a train for ants. You know, that would help because ants are like indestructible. Like, you can't like throw an ant. Like, it's not going to hurt it. Nostrumus and Juvia. For our last match of round three. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba, choose outcome. Cram Sam wins that one. Okay, predictions live. Who do you like? One with Sam is as good as winning the belt for you. Uh, if you say so. If you say so. A lot of monsters at one and two. If Juvia wins this, we will have literally um, Mango's at two and one. Okane Kani's at two and one. And Juvia would be at three and zero, oh, and then everyone else would be at one and two. So Nostromus needs this win to keep things competitive for everybody. Doesn't want anybody running away. Slamming down 50-50, Icicle Arrow 52, goes for the slamming down and lands it. Doesn't kill, but that is big ass damage and 40 guts and no power proc. Just a great turn of events for Nostromus. Gets hit with the Ice Arrow, a little bit of damage and withering, but he's well in range to kill with wing combo. Or uh, wing attack even. Hold Geyser at 55, that one is going to miss. Goes for Trample though, he doesn't care, he's gonna fucking land it anyway. Give him the big squish. There's the grit though. All of that, was it worth it? Juvia gets back up, still in this fight, can still win it, it has big damage on her side, just not with Ice Sword. It's pushed back. Ice Arrow and Icicle Arrow can do it. Oh, the quick push into the wing attack, look at that, the one, two. The little guard break, whatever you want to call it, pushes them back into an immediate attack. Misses the slamming down. Frame one this time. Juvia with a massive 55 guts lead. What you gonna do with it? Arrow, 65, it hits. Good crit. Swing it again. Cold Fog, at 73. Not enough to kill. Nostrum is still in there. Ice Sword. You know, Ice Sword, not a bad play in that situation. It wouldn't have killed, but uh, not terrible when you only have to do nine damage. Slamming down to 53, trample, wing attack, tail attack is the play, goes for tail attack, 58% misses. Arrow at 58 again, misses Nostromus, getting out of the way of stuff. Might as well trample, bro, yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, you missed, but... Risk reward was there, I think. I think the risk reward was there. You had one game to play with, it's going to game three now. You would have won the whole thing on a 35% roll if you landed it. Wing attack is logistically so silly. It, uh... It's so much worse than it looks like. I don't understand. A trample hits! There you go. GG's. Shake my hand. Nostromus wins it 2-1. That keeps things super competitive. Nostromus with its second win. And Juvia with her first loss. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look at the standings and see where we're at. So after three rounds, look at that. Look at how close this is. We got Okane Kane with a two and one. We got Mango with a two and one. We got Nostromus with a two and one. We got Juvia with a two and one. And then Tsukiko, La Muerte, Pram Sam, and Gamer Girl all with a one and two. So literally they're a win apart at this point. Pretty nuts. The 50% are not landing, but the under 40s are. That's Monster Rancher. Okay, so Kiko and Mango up next. I 
Look at that, right at the top that time. Okay, so that went to Nostromus. That one was pretty close. 45-55 on that bet? That makes sense. Nobody's dominating yet. Nope, they are not. It's not like yesterday where we had a bunch of monsters who were like 3-1 and one or like 4-0. and oh. I mean, we might. We might still have that. We won't have any 4-0s, and oh's, but... Okay. There's the funny round in the birds where the lightweight where the, they did the 80% fire wave misses back to back. Yeah, they're just like squawking at each other. That hit percent philosophy is how you got deadite. That's the one with um uh, Is Deadite the Durahan Joker? Genocider? If I'm remembering correctly. He's got like Deathbringer and like it's just all hit attacks. Or is it the Centaur one? No, it's the Joker. It's the Durahan, yeah. Oh, turn Claw's crit will kill here! Ooh. Mango survives. He's got power, doesn't need power. He won two rounds hitting 17%, so yeah. <laughs> no, it's not zero. Roll Assault lands with power, 999 damage, no grit. So Kika would have needed to get up and then immediately land and attack. Mango's gonna win game number one. Game two. Ape is kind of like Joker in that his best builds are like very, very, very simple. Um, doesn't have a lot of power attacks, but he's unlike Joker in that he's got like three or four distinct builds, which is kind of nuts. Um, depending on the format and who your opponents are going to be. Like Swing Throw is either very good or very bad depending on the matchup. So sometimes it makes sense to not get it. Sometimes it's like the best possible attack the ape can have. Ape's got a lot more variety, but that's just because it's not, it doesn't have anything that's as strong, you know? No windup, just shooting forward at max speed. It's just, you know, it's just acceleration. Or not acceleration, it's just top speed. Whoa. Slash claws? No, slap. Gonna run down the clock. Mango's gonna win that one. 2 0. Oh. Mango goes to 3 and 1. Sukiko so goes to 1 and 2. Or 1 and 3, sorry, I should say. Yeah, 1 and 3. Next up, Okane Kane and Tram Sam. So coming out of round four, Mango will at absolute worst be tied for first place. He's doing well. Okay. It's not Sukiko's night. Nah, he's not having a great night. Kato's a little bit of a risky monster, just inherently. Like, he needs the crits to do well. It's a big part of why he's not, like, higher tiered, because I think he's got really good attacks, but the numbers are just a little bit low and, like, slightly rely on getting those crits to make sense, outside of, like, Drill Claw, which is just, like, a numerical anomaly. Like, it is such a good tech for 20 cost. It doesn't make any sense. It's so, so strong. The animation's a little bit long, but other than that... Kane Kane and Tramp Sam. Not liking this matchup? Well... You don't get to choose your matchups today. Gotta fight everybody. Ooh, good damage on the Kamikaze. Claw Assault misses. Into the Giant Whip. That's gonna swing and miss as well. Kinda kinda in the yellow. Hanging in there. It's the Hidden Sting. Big crit. The Anger proc. Perfect opportunity for Kane to win this, but face attack at 61, it's gonna do enough damage. Ramsam wins that one. Does he blink or does he only wink? Yes. Hence crit or die? Yeah, exactly. I really like Kato. I think Kato's one of my more preferred, like, competitive builds. 
but he is just very risky. Like, everything's a 50-50 or worse on, like, the text that matter. He's got a great basic text, but that's not enough to carry you through most of the time. Unless it's a format where monsters could potentially have low life, like middleweight. Punch is going to miss as well. Both monsters are around half health. We're kind of kind of with a very slight life lead. There's the Kamikaze at 75. It's going to miss. He's, like, missed, like, three or four of those tonight, eh? Pretty rough. Let me give color Pandora. Tree Wizard, how are you doing tonight, my man? Ooh, the Claw Assault lands. Not enough to kill. Tram Sam still in it. Looked like he wanted to do Meteor Drive. There goes for two swings. That one's going to miss. They both got 30. Guts, face attack, misses. He would have needed, like, three to win it anyway. Gets punched right in the noggin. Okane Kane is going to take game number two. Missed a bunch of Kamikazes? Yeah, uh, one of me did, yeah. Well, a pinch opener, 39%, big damage. Look at that, 581. Anger immediately into the giant whip. He hits him. A little bit of withering there. Anger there, oh my god. He's gonna attack first, hidden sting lands. It literally came down to next hit. That was fucked. Okane Kani's gonna win that one 2 1. Yeah, claw, claw pinch is nuts. Three and seven. La Muerte and Nostromus up next. Okay. Okie dokie. 52-48, that one was pretty close on the bets. Prediction is live, who do you like? Who is your favorite in this one? So Kani Kani goes to 3 and 1 as well. And Tram Sam goes to 1 and 3. So Tram Sam and Sukiko, they're struggling. I don't, I don't want to bother doing the math to see if it's possible that they are eliminated or still in the running, still in the contention. I don't know. I don't think it's likely they'll win. But I don't think they're mathematically actually eliminated yet. It's just many things have to go in their favor. All Flying Penguins, Lux, that is on Akane Kane. None left for the others he raised? Yeah, I know. Death Punch, 54. Good crit there. Lamorte opens his opponent up like that. It's the Bite, 101 damage. Two in a row. Under 200. It's the anger into another death punch. Fuck you, sit down. <laughs> oh my god. La Muerte wins game number one. Trample opener. That's more like it, Nostromus. Big damage there, 347. La Muerte down to half health. It's the death smash, though. He doesn't like missing. Ooh, the Death Smash misses that time. Wing combo, definitely not the play here. Tiny bit of damage. Basically gave his opponent 20 guts for free. Misses the Death Smash. You know, Tail Attack's not bad. It won't kill here. But uh, he will be able to attack twice. Another Wing Combo. Oh, the Foolery! The Death Smash miss at 80% into a Wing Combo. Nostromus just doesn't care. It's like, I'm going to win on my terms. It does not matter if what I'm doing makes sense or not. Death Punch is going to miss again. Hits finally. Not enough to kill. Nostromus still has the lead. And he's just hanging out. Three seconds left. Who's going to attack? Wing combo? Oh my god. Proceeds to miss everything. I mean, you know, he is a little bit streaky. He missed everything his first match, he hit everything his second match, he missed everything his third match. No, it's just back and forth. He's angry because you weren't looking at him. You weren't paying him the respect, Nostromus. I didn't believe in the wing combo, so he won with it out of spite, and then lost the set. So, you know, who was right? You know?
Okay, next up we got Gamer Girl and Juvia. Ooh. Got an Undine fight. booing already. Okay, so that went to La Muerte. That one was pretty close too. 5k on both monsters. Wow. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Brother, my brother. Hitting the first punch is cruelly hitting, getting the streak going. <laughs> so how it looks, yeah. Here we go. Undine versus Undine. Only one can win. It's the cold fog. A little bit of damage there. Two in a row? No, misses the second one. Arrow in retaliation. Juvia with a little bit of a lead right now. Goes for Ice Arrow. That one's going to land as well. Holy shit, the crit? That's enough. Juvia wins it. Game two. Ice sword spam? Yeah, who's gonna do more ice sword damage? Ooh. Just basics. That's all we're doing. Ooh. Big crit there. Hits that one. No crit on that side. Juvia's still in the lead. <laughs> Another cold fog. Oh. Three in a row. Four in a row. Misses the fourth one. Ice Claro at 52. That one whiffs. Juvia still has the Guts lead even after that. Ice Coffin at 37%. That's going to miss as well. Gamer Girl in a good spot here. Goes for Water Cannon 57. That's a KO. 782 on the crit. Gamer Girl wins game number two. So we're going to game three, folks. Gamer Girl really wants this win because it puts her at 2-2 two and two and brings Juvia down to 2-2. Two and two. It's not enough to win in this. It's You need to stop your opponents from winning as well, you know? The water gun, good damage. Juvia still with a little bit of a life lead, but Gamer Girl has the guts lead, just barely. Old Fog, gonna hit, not enough to kill. Procs power, ooh. Oh, baby. Hailstorm 56%. It misses, though. That's a pretty quick animation on miss. Water gun miss at 67. Aqua waves at 68 is gonna land. Power still active. 700 damage. Juvia wins it. Goes up. Three and one. So, three-way tie for first place right now. Gamer Girl goes to one and three. Unfortunate for her. Okay, let's take a look at the standings after that. Up, 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 up. Okay, so four rounds in. We got Okane, Kane, Mango, and Juvia leading the charge with a three and one record. Uh, does anybody have two and two? La Muerte has two and two, and then every Nostromus has two and two, and then Gamer Girl, Sukiko, Cram Sam, all with a one and three record. So we got three monsters at the top, two in the middle, three at the bottom. Okay, here we go, Sukiko and Mango. Well, Salt miss at forty-one percent. Didn't he already lose to Mango? Did he? He did. It's supposed to be Tram Sam. Nobody stopped me. It is supposed to be Tram Sam. Mango not going down. Hey! Welcome Raiders, welcome Super Rad, how are you doing? I was lurking your stream earlier today while I was working on getting my stream set up. Hello to everybody, if uh, you're new to my stream, we're playing some Monster Rancher, it's basically uh, like a Tamagotchi, it's like a virtual pet, and then uh, we bet on them fighting. So it's kind of like Salty Bets, if you ever watch Salty Bets. 
let me end that prediction and we'll we'll make a new one for this, especially for all the new people. Start a prediction. Right. What do you like? The monster on the left or the monster on the right? Sylvia on YouTube or YT. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Uh you're tired? I'm tired too. I uh we gotta play some strive soon. I'm really, really liking Testament. Very fun character. Long ass Gravios fight? Oh god. Practicing Street Fighter 5? You know, better late than never, I suppose. I uh I might get back into it because they, they it looks like they massively buffed Vega. So I'm uh, I'm pretty excited about that. By massively buffed, I mean they made one small change that I'd been asking for since season one, and they finally did it, so. Right. Konami, posing ninth. Thank you for the follow. Drill Claw, big damage on the crit there. Yeah, I haven't played in forever. I haven't played since Seth dropped, but I might get back into it. Giant Whip hits at 44%. Tramp Sam. Oh, Sukiko gets the grit. Living on a prayer. Slash Claw's 55%. That's gonna do it. Sukiko wins game one. Back from the dead. Game two. Here we go. No expert, but you sure that's a train? You'd be right. Don't sell yourself short. You sound like an expert. Drill Claw doing big damage. Tram Sam gets back up though. He's angry. Look at that. Look how angry he is. Misses the Drill Claw 71%. He's got a massive guts lead. Tail swing hits it. There's the anger proc. Oh god, this could be really bad. The crit? He's still got a huge guts lead. Hits another tail swing. Tails. Tram Sam's gonna win that one. Trolled by Tails, you know? Going off the rails on a. Angry train. Tram Sam takes game number two. Literal demon train. It looks like it. Spiral rush. Misses the spiral rush. Kiko goes for the slash claws. Lands it. Knocks him on his ass. 365 damage. Just over half health. Straight again. A crit will kill. Doesn't get the crit. His opponent's living. L-I-B-I-N. Throws claw 51. Stabs him right in the face. You got him. So Kiko with the 2-1. Tsukiko so desperately needed wins. I think Tram Sam desperately needed wins too. Yeah, so that was just unfortunate. One of those monsters had to lose. Next up, we got Okane Kane and La Muerte. If you guys are new to uh, Monster Rancher, there's some uh, Nightmare Fuel coming up. This game's got interesting uh, character designs. Okay, so who do you like? Do you like the money crab, or do you like the joker? That went to Tsukiko. Predictions live, who do you like? What other modes of transport are there in this? Uh, there is a bullet train. There is a uh, cruise ship. Right. The country of Mexico is now following me. That is a big follow. I've been trying so hard to get the country of Mexico to follow me, and now we got them. So how many monsters are there in this game? Yeah, so the way this game works, the way Monster Rancher works is there's like monsters, you know? You got your selection of monsters, but then you can combine them to make uh, more monsters. So like they said, there's 38 breeds, and then you can combine them. Not everything combines with everything, but there's like over 400. For a lot of them, it's just palette swaps, but a, a good uh, variety of monsters get like unique models and their own like special crossover attacks and things like that. It's really cool. Kane Kane, what's he got? Slow gesture, skillful crab. Yes, sir. Skill is like accuracy in this game. So Okane Kane is going to have 99% chance to hit on everything. And La Muerte is just a big old tank that's going to tank the hits has a much lower chance to hit, but will do more damage when he actually lands something. Yeah, so that's what you put music CDs and stuff into your game, and uh, it reads the data on it, and it makes a monster based on that. That smash lands again, 74%, don't want to get anger. Anger is a battle special that can proc, and uh, your monster becomes easier to get hit, but they build up their 
guts faster. Guts is a little this little meter down here, and you need it to spend uh, points to attack. So see, he's got 34 right now. Punch costs 10. Shows you a little number in the top corner. So obviously being able to build your resources faster is a good thing. Tanks love to get anger because um, they're already very easy to hit. So there's no real downside for them. And they just get like massive resource regeneration. The death punch is going to do it. La muerte. That's a quick 2-0. Just punching his way to victory. Just punching a crab. Who would have thought? Of the fact that PlayStation could function that way was the reason Monster Rancher was made, yeah. Five and eight. Who's up next? We got Mango and Juvia. There we go. And if you guys are interested, we're just over halfway through this tournament. Uh, I will be raising a monster on stream after we're done, because we're going to be ending this tournament within an hour or so. Hey, right. hey Cargo Crabs, thank you for the follow. So that was a win for La Muerte. Prediction is live, who do you like? Apes together strong. A few cracks showing in the legend. So... That's a bit of the lore for everybody who's new. Okane Kane um, was, had the best track record of like any competitive monster in like the history of competitive monster rancher. It had like, it was undefeated for like multiple tournaments, which is not a thing that normally happens. Rakos, thank you for the follow. As you can see, these chances to hit are not particularly high, right? So um, RNG matters a lot in monster rancher, and it's just like a thing you have to accept. Like, you're going to lose to bad RNG occasionally, and it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Um, so to just, like, constantly win and, like, win, like, 30 times in a row with no losses, that shit is wild. And that's what Okane Kane was like until last week. And he lost twice. He still won, like, six times last week. And uh, now he is 3-2. and two. He's lost twice tonight. Uh-oh. Pretty lady monster. She's got a very big forehead. Well, uh, th the prettiness is debatable. It's the roll assault. It's enough to kill. Monkey move. Got him. Twiddle me this broke the champ. It was the beginning of the end. I'm glad to have played a part in Monster Rancher history, you know? Mango is a pretty lady monster. <laughs> if your boy can't win against the matchup he's supposed to win against, he won't go far today. That's true, yeah. Ice Sword not going to do a lot of damage. It's hit with the slap. How can he slap? The cold fog. The monkey doesn't like that. The monkey likes being warm. It's a tropical monkey. It's the monkey flip. I got one of my videos demonetized for making that joke and like playing the song. It was like three seconds of the song and uh, it was enough to get the video demonetized. It goes for the ice coffin, but it's not land. Slaps again. This monkey loves slapping. Three. And this is the third one. Roll assault, bonk, gets him. So Mango is gonna win that one 2-0. That was a quick. Damn! What the fuck? These bets. Six and a half times payout for the left side. Let's go. Oh my god. Nobody believed in Monkey. Nobody believed in Monkey. He's doing so well tonight. Six and seven, our last match of round number five. We got Gamer Girl and we got Nostromus. So if you like Juvia, you got another chance because we got another monster of the exact same breed. Uh, different attacks and stuff, but same breed. And if you have any questions about what you're seeing, feel free to let me know. I do definitely take for granted um, like my knowledge and the general knowledge of everybody else who watches me normally. So there's like going to be basic um, ideas and things that the game presents that I'm maybe just so used to like having ingrained in my head that I don't think to explain them. Like I remember when uh, Rad first started playing this game, what are all these stats? They're a perfect example. Life is literally your hit points. Power is how much damage you do with yellow attacks. 
Intelligence is how much damage you do with green attacks. You'll see the little icons at the bottom. Skill is your accuracy. Speed is your evasion. So basically, if your skill and speed, every attack has its own uh, percent chance to hit. And then um, say you have really high skill and your opponent has really low speed, um, your chance to hit goes up. And if they have really high speed and you have really low skill, your chance to hit goes down. And then defense is damage mitigation. Defense is like probably the weakest stat numerically. So we don't, uh, there's not a lot of tanks. But yeah, like this, uh, when Rad was playing, he was like, what's happening like with my monster? Like, how do I do anything? And the thing is, you only have attacks, access to certain attacks in certain ranges. It's like Gamer Girl can only use Splash up close here. It's an attack that doesn't do a ton of damage, but it withers a lot of guts. It removes a lot of its opponent's guts. It had power there, so it doubled all of its damage. Power is a battle special that can activate if uh, it drops to like one quarter of its health. Stat cap? I mean, yeah, they're just built in a stat cap because anybody who plays this game at a competitive level can max out all the stats on any monster. And that leads to a bunch of monsters that just have identical stats. And it gets a little bit boring to just see 999s everywhere. Also, uh, there's no KOs in a format like that, so everything takes a really long time. It's kind of boring. Nostromus hanging in there, gets hit with a splash though. I think that's probably it for our boy Nostromus. Gamer Girl's gonna win that one 2-0. Wasn't even close. Dragon didn't know what to do. The amount of info in the span of that round, you know, you'd think I've done the spiel once or twice. I, I may have done it once or twice. Okay, let's take a look at standings. Uh, I have a couple that I still need to put in. Juvia beats, no, Mango beats Juvia. And Gamer Girl gets its second win. Ostromus gets its third loss. So, after five rounds, Mango, the monkey, is in first place. Four and one. We got Akane Kane with a three and two. We got Lamorte with a three and two. We got Juvia with a three and two. Dukiko is at two and three. Uh, Tram Sam struggling. Tram Sam's definitely out at this point. Gamer Girl and Nostromus both at a 2 and 3 as well. Also, the pe new people notice we let the AI control the monsters. Yeah, we let AI control, um, and the AI is very, very dumb. But it, it adds a charm to the game. Competitive, like PvP, where like both people are both monsters are being controlled, is a thing that's been tried before, and it's not super fun because there's a lot of just like waiting around. I was talking earlier about guts and like building up guts to be able to attack. Um, you get bonuses to like your offense and defense, like your evasion and how much damage you take and how much damage you do, all that stuff. Uh, if you have more guts than your opponent. So when you're playing EVP, you kind of just like sit around and build up your guts constantly until you're at max. And then you swing little pot shots back and forth uh, hopefully your opponent kind of makes a blunder and swings something really risky and then you have a big lead and um, I don't know it's not a lot of fun not a lot of fun so we do AI because the AI is fucking dumb and it just does whatever it wants whenever it wants and uh, sometimes that's very frustrating but most of the time it's really fun I have the equivalent of a degree in monster ranching I I Honestly, if I didn't know as much as I know about this game with how much I've played the game, it would be embarrassing. Okay. Hit someone with a death punch. Punching a cat. Dang. It's the, the slash claw two in a row. Can do a little bit of damage. Well, Mark, they're still sitting pretty. Similar amount of life. Oh, goes for the death slash. That one misses. I love the little wee sound Joker makes when he swings that. Misses though. Slash Claw again. He's just using these basics. Just chipping them down. Playing the Whittling game. Drill Claw hits. How much damage? Ooh, 139. Not enough to kill. Death Smash miss at 52. Morte has a massive guts lead though. So, so Kiko's going to need one of his stronger techs to win this. Turn Claw can win it. Would have needed a crit though. 
Death Punch is going to land. This could kill. Ooh, very close. Sukiko down into the yellow as well. Death Slash, 39%. He swings it. I don't know why he swung that. But he's going to swing the Death Punch. That's going to do it. Just punching. Punching his way to victory. Muerte tanking. Obviously not dodging anything but surviving. La Muerte wins that one. Just notice Tsukiko has a Joker face on its back. Like a biker jacket, yeah. Yeah, so, um... We were talking about mixed breeds and stuff earlier, right? So Kato is just like normally like a brown cat. It's like... It's a brown cat. But if you mix it with uh, the monster that La Muerte is based on, the Joker, you get this uh, spooky evil looking cat. The triple drill claw, that'll do it. Sukiko, so oh, I lied. Omarte's got the grits, he's still in it. Why do they have so few moves? So the reason they have so few moves is that, um, as we were talking about earlier with um, the AI, the AI is very dumb. So a big part of getting good at this game is knowing what moves not to give your monster because the AI can't make a dumb decision. It can't use a bad tech if you don't allow it to use that bad tech, right? So both of these monsters, monsters in general in competitive play have really sparse loadouts. You'd like take a look at all the monsters attacks. That was 1-1. One, one. That was 1-1, one, one. my bad. Um, so yeah, you, uh, you take a look at all the monsters attacks and then you think like, how do I want to do this? Do I want a mix of like cheap chip damage and like big nukes do i want to just go ham like as an anti-tank that is nothing but big swings but like maybe isn't going to do very well against a monster uh that's speedy and can dodge stuff do i want to uh make a monster that relies on getting crits that's kind of what sukiko is sukiko is a crit build so there's a lot of stuff you can do but yeah it's uh in competitive play people normally don't get a ton of attacks and then, yeah, Joker literally only has six techs total. So he's got half of his entire loadout right now. Like, half of his, like, potential total loadout. Oh, we see Fury. Fury is a rare battle special. It procs only when your opponent has a battle special active. It doubles your damage and withering. It doesn't last for very long, though. Didn't get a chance to use anything. It's like Fire Blast versus Flamethrower for Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't get both. Drill Claw lands 225. Sukiko so still sitting pretty. Both monsters can attack. Who's going to swing? Turn Claw. Might need the crit. Oh, it's barely enough. Sukiko's so going to win that one 2 1. Who's up next? Okane, Kane, and Juvia. Ooh. Two of the monsters at a 3 and 1 record or three and two record so la muerte goes to three and three and sukiko goes to three and three this is very close nobody's running away with this mango at four and one is looking like the odds on favorite to win the whole thing but he still can lose his next two matches like i've said in the last two nights as well there is a chance for it to be a little bit anticlimactic if a monster pulls ahead too far. And uh, we'll know who the winner is with like very few, or sorry, with few rounds remaining still. Um, but that hasn't happened yet. Maybe it'll happen tonight, maybe it won't. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Sukiko at 3 and 3, La Muerte 3 and 3. Both of these monsters at 3 and 2. So one of them is going to go 4 and 2, one of them is going to go 3 and 3. Will Nostromus lose but be a spoiler for winning monster? Tune in next time. And he might. He could do the thing. You know, there is some. What do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? There's some pride, you know, in being the spoiler and making sure someone else isn't the winner. Just ask Chunky last night, you know? 
All the monsters are so optimal at this level that it's pretty even. Yeah, it is. Nobody's really running out. Mango's doing work, though. Catharsis, I suppose. Yeah, but... I... Catharsis isn't the wrong word there. But I was thinking more of, like... It's, like, admirable, you know? If new watchers are interested in building for competitive Nashville stream, how to build after this tournament... Yes, so I'm going to be uh, showing the rest of this game off after this tournament is over. It's a little bit of a, um, a menu simulator, to be honest. It's very, like, you're planning out your monster's life. Scheduling and things like that. Chunky's a legend just for last night. Didn't win any games, then wins his last game to make sure the monster he beat cannot be champion. Very funny. Kind of, kind of, kind of running away with this one. Gets hit with the arrow. Anger. Not a great time for Anger, but he can just win it. Ice Coffin, 58. We have not seen that move land a single time tonight. Not very accurate, though. Instinct miss at 72. Oh my god. Kani Kani still has a little bit of a guts lead, though. His chance of attacking is higher than his opponent. There's the Splash misses at 42. He's chilling. Goes for the Claw Assault. That lands. No grit. Oh, Kani Kani wins that one 2-0. Monster Rancher is very chill casually. I mean, yes, it's it's very low impact. It's like watching like um, someone play Animal Crossing or um, like Harvest Moon or something. Tram Sam and Nostromus up next. Yeah, not only tonight are we um, going to be raising a monster, we're going to be raising the worst possible competitive monster, which is... Like, we're going to get the best hex on it that we can, we're going to try and make it as good as we can, but just like the breed of the monster is the absolute worst. Uh, and that's always fun. So that goes to Kane Kane. Prediction is live, who do you like? Can you imagine competitive Animal Crossing? I mean, I'm sure you can make it happen. Are we raising a Mochi? Dude, Mochi is like a top tier monster compared to the shit we're raising. What's the worst breed? So, um, I, get, I can show you guys the tier list after this if you want, but uh, it's a specific Pixie. If you guys have watched the anime, you know Pixie is like the, the fan service monster, more or less. Um, but it's a very specific pixie that requires a lot of work to get. It's extra effort to make a monster specifically bad. Gentle Mochi named Will Smith. Have him slap, you know. That that's funny now, but that would get old quick. I think me calling Gentle Mochi Mater D's is just a name that will not be beat. I don't think anyone's ever gonna have a funnier name for Gentle Mochi than that. Nostromus doing what he loves, he's just stomping. Goes for it again. 35%? Fuck it. Land it. Wanna land the horn drill twice in a row? Do the thing, brother. No one's stopping you. Nostromus squishes that bug. Wins that 2-0. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was something. So a pixie dragon? No. Um, it's, it's much worse than that. Okay, 5 and 6. Mango and Gamer Girl. To explain why the pixie I'm using is so bad requires a little bit of game knowledge, so I'll, I'll explain it, but it, uh, it's a little bit of an explanation, you know? This is like a thing that someone who like plays casually wouldn't think of. Okay, prediction is live, who do you like? Yeah, so Nostromus, I, I think Nostromus is eliminated, but goes 3-3, three and three, so it's keeping it, uh, it's keeping it a buck, you know? Tramp Sam, on the other hand, 1-5 and five currently, not his night. He can go 2-5, and five, which would mean he's not the worst monster that performed this week, but if he does go 1-6, and six, that means he has tied Chunky's dead for 
the worst of the week, unfortunately. Like a chihuahua to a giant, just fucking stomped them. That mango is bananas. Damn. You got wordplay in my chat? Hell yeah. Also, uh, pop. Papai Noob, thank you for the follow. I uh, did not see that one. I think I was updating bracket or something when you followed. Appreciate that though. And for watching Cold Sword, hell yeah. Mango, you're in time just to watch your girl get bonked. Oh, she's got the power though. Power water cannon, that's an instant kill. 999 damage, minus 37 guts, gamer girl. Does not want to go home, you know? Game number two. Someone call Ice T. Let him know. Forty guts down. Oh my God. She's got vigor. Old Feist with the five gift subs. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Gamer girl looking to put a dent in Mango's record. Worth noting because loaded discussion around Gamer girl starting tax are no bueno. Yeah, they're they're pretty bad. And the water gun just smokes them. What the fuck? Oh my God. Gamer girl is gonna win that one. Gamer Girl is a very, very, very high tier monster, and Ape, Ape not so much, so, uh, that's, that's what that matchup looks like normally. Okay, so that's a win for Gamer Girl. She goes three and three. Mango. Still in the lead, but, uh, no longer out of reach for everyone else. Let's come down to this. My fake, my fake life, life. gifted at Tier on sub to Potsito. Thank you, my fake life. Really appreciate that, man. Looks like Devs really cared about the animations for the variants of the monsters. They really did. It's a poker time with 100 biddies. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you very much. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is not Pokemon. These, uh, the devs cared about the animations. Good job, Jacques. Yeah, so look at that. Uh, Mango at a 4 and 2 record, but everyone else hot on his heels. Sukiko and Akane Kane. Oh, I did not. Uh, I did not mark down Okane Kane and Juvia. Okane Kane won that one. So Okane Kane is tied with Mango at 4 and 2. Juvia and. Gamer Girl and La Muerte and Sukiko all at three and three. If Sukiko beats Okane Kane, La Muerte uh, and Juvia have to fight. One of them is going to go four and three. And then we got Mango and Nostromus. So Nostromus can play spoiler. Oh my god, if Nostromus beats Mango, we're going to have so many monsters with four wins. And then we have Gamer Girl versus Tramp Sam. If Tramp Sam loses to Gamer Girl, we'll have. Okay, so. I'm getting excited. Tsukiko so wins. Theoretically. Someone of La Muerte and Juvia wins. Theoretically. Well, I mean, one of them has to win. Um, Mango loses. And Gamer Girl wins. We would have how many ties? We would have... No, Mango loses and Nostromus wins, I should say. We would have one, two, three, four, five-way tie for first. Holy cow. It could happen. It could totally happen. If. If. I don't think we're going to see the five-way tie, but my point is, more more likely than not, we will not have one monster who's on top. You know? It, that could also happen, but I think the odds of having two monsters at a five and two are probably uh, pretty good. So Kiko and Okane Kane. So Kiko fighting for his life here. Okane Kane, probably not eliminated if it loses this, but uh, definitely not eliminated if it wins. So this is must win for Tsukiko, and Okane Kane will be guaranteed a shot at the belt if he wins, so it's big for both of them. Okay, predictions live, who do you like? Just humming Eminem Lose Yourself for the Gidris spoiler. So Gidris isn't actually a spoiler though, that's the thing. Gidris um, is in the same spot as Tsukiko and in the same spot as Juvia. Uh, if he wins, he's got a shot to win the whole thing.
I really don't want like a five way tie though. Please don't, please don't do that. To me. That's too much math. Just got home to see this. Almost upset. Tramp Sam got his ass handed to him. He is uh, he's not having a great night. It's unfortunate. He can play spoiler though. Who's he got to fight? He's got to fight Mango. So if he beats Mango, uh, he can help put the wheels in motion. Pun not intended. To uh, have a giant tie for first place. This has been the most unpredictable tournament so far. I think so too. Is genetics as big of a factor in the main game as it is in Chow Garden? Yeah. So the way to think about this game is it's it's like Chow Garden cockfighting, basically. It's like the karate. It's like if Chow Garden karate was expanded significantly. That's basically um, this entire game. Genetics measure casually, not competitively. I mean, they they matter for both. Gold pass gifted at tier Gold pass. De si belle tire bas de tire bas ou un no. Damn, that uh, that one fucked up uh, Jacques a little bit. Go pause. Thank you for the gift sub. That's very kind of you. And we just hit 150 sub points. That's awesome. The slash claws. Yeah, Sukiko looking like he was gonna lose that one. Grits comes back. One HP. That's all he needs. You needed a PhD to understand the Gen X in this game fully. It's actually, you could probably write a dissertation, like a legitimate dissertation on combination in this game. Is Jacques like Colt for Nash? He's uh, he's my Colt, yeah. Long punch is going to miss. Oh, it lands. Puts him in the yellow. Sukiko's so still in it. Gets angry. Kind of a good time to get angry. Slash cause 59. That's going to land. Is that enough? It's enough. Sukiko is going to win it. 2-0. Is it happening? Oh my god. We're seeing 100 viewers? Yeah, we got raided a little bit earlier. And people have been really cool hanging out. Yeah, uh, super rad. Raided us. My boy, Kyle. And uh, people have been nice enough to oblige me in talking about this goofy game. La Muerte and Juvia. So, one of them... Whoever loses this, cannot win. It comes down to this. It's very upsetting if you're a La Muerte fan, because this is not a great matchup for La Muerte. Sared was saying how much he hated that there was two Undines in this tournament. He's got to fight another one right now. It all comes down to this for your boy, Sared. So, uh, here's hoping if you're a fan. You need to hit everything? You do need to hit everything. It's a bad matchup. It's a bad matchup. Now the only way for ch only chance for Okani is the five-way tie. I mean, it could be less than a five-way tie, but yeah. Tournament result hangs in Nostromus's hands. Tramp Sam can... Uh... Yeah, if Tramp Sam beats Gamer Girl, it's, it's pretty rough too. Okay, just don't miss. Just don't miss, forehead. Ice Skull Arrow 99%. Big ass damage on that crit. You're a tank and you still take that much damage. That slash 37%. That would have killed though. It misses. Oh, this is looking bad. We're, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to game two. I'm thinking, you know, dust yourself off. Get back in there. First game is always just data, you know? It's just data. Oh, he grits. He's not out of it yet. He can still win this. He's got a pretty big guts lead. If he just hits the death slash, he needs the death slash, though. Before his opponent attacks. You know, you knew what you had to do, and you didn't do it. I can't be mad. Or, sorry, you can't be mad. La Muerte and Juvia, game number two. What do we got this time? Ice arrow, not icicle arrow. Still a huge crit, La Muerte down to half health, no anger proc. This is the death smash, La Muerte sitting at zero on landed attacks. Oh god. It hasn't hit tonight at all, no. Aqua wave, there's the anger proc. Another aqua wave, it hits, it's not enough to kill. Death slash, 36% with anger, oh my god. 
another Aqua Wave. That'll do it. Juvia eliminates La Muerte from the tournament. Didn't land a single attack. That was pretty rough. He didn't have a great chance to hit with anything, but still, you hate to see it. Unless you're a Juvia fan, in which case, you'll love to see it. Tram Sam and Gamer Girl up next. Not sick of Undine yet? Here's another one. It's kind of crazy to me that only one monster uploaded to the entire database of this game is named Gamer Girl. I would have assumed that there'd be more monsters named that. Okay, so that goes to Juvia. Prediction is live. Who do you like out of these two? Is Tram Sam going to stop Gamer Girl from having a shot at the belt? It could happen. Lamorte ends up with a 3-4 and four record. Not too bad as the only tank, you know? He had a couple of bad matchups, did pretty well otherwise. Gamer Girl wins this, she goes 4-3, and three, which ties Tsukiko Okanekane and Juvia. She loses this, she ties La Muerte and is eliminated. It's really going to come down to Nostromus versus Mango. If Nostromus beats Mango, oh my god. Can public transportation stop the bathwater? Well, we'll see. What is more disgusting? Gamer Girl bathwater or public transportation? That's the question you gotta ask yourself. What, what is more unsavory, you know? Sam's final fight before he gets combined into a better monster. <laughs> Cold fog lands, it's not enough to kill. Base attack, gives him the smack. Cold fog misses, Tram Sam still hanging in. Depends on which public trans tr public transformation system. Oh my god, that sounds sick. Base attack of 58. That one misses. Looks like Japanese train, so it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's fair. I, it, you just gotta worry about uh, groping. That was a great typo. You're happy. It was pretty good. Gamer Girl wins game one. Old Fog 61, a little bit of damage. Kamikaze, pick him up, throw him. Look at that, look how much damage that was. Two in a row? That's quick, 15 second round, Tram Sam. One win away from making sure another Undine isn't fighting for the belt. Drain to the face. Oh, the Spiral Rush! Crits for 612 does a proc power. Oh my god. Almost worse than not attacking at all. Oh, but power runs out immediately? That is so short. It's a random timer, but that is the shortest I think I've ever seen it in my life. That was like absolute minimum frame roll. That was awful. Oh, the water gun. It's not enough to kill. Tailswing can do it. The splash is going to land 42%. Tramp Sam had like 60% chance to win that. But instead, Gamer Girl says, nah, I, I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm the conductor now. And it all comes down to this. We got Mango and we got Nostromus. If Mango wins this, he is the champ. That would be a crazy underdog story. And if Nostromus wins it, he, uh, he makes a headache for me. There is a crazy tie, and uh, not super fun. <laughs> oh my god. And basically got to do an entire other tournament. Which means I probably won't get time to do my, uh, my thing. Okay, so... That went to the Undine. I have no contingency in place if there's a five-way tie, by the way. Like, I don't have a bracket set up. Um, I'm probably just going to have to make, like, a challenge bracket really quick or something. Oh, hold on. Uh, because this might potentially be the last match of the night, we're making it a two-minute bet. You got two minutes. If you like the monkey, if you like the dragon, who's your favorite? Who do you want to win? Do you want... 
to go on to a casual ranching stream next, or do you want to watch me suffer? That's basically what this comes down to. If you're a fan of casual ranching, uh, you will you will be a fan of Mango, and if you want to make me cry, boy George, no, you're a fan of Nostromus, so at about a minute and ten seconds left, every championship has been really close, yeah, no blowouts. We all know who Nash is rooting for. Just literally out of, you know what, there's time left. Time to get onto the Moosey B Money account and go all in on the monkey man, you know? I gotta show him my support. I hope I don't jinx him by doing this. How many chips? I got 5k chips. You know, 5k in. Let's go. And dropped it. You guys don't know, I have a second account that I use specifically to bet on uh, these. And we'll see. We'll see if it pays off for me on the Moosey B Money account. Okay, about 20 seconds left. What are we looking at? 25k on the monkey, 22 on Nostromus. Not quite as high as last night. You guys were going nuts on those bets last night. Five way tie means Okane has a chance. Yes. Imagine the logistical nightmare of a five-way monster rancher fight. Oh, God. So I'm going to have to, like, uh, count wins and losses and find out who is, like, top seed, who is bottom seed, and then we'll do, like, maybe a double limb. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I just want, I just want it to be over, you know? We've been running this league for, like, ten weeks now. How can anyone not root for Okane? Sometimes it's nice to see other monsters win, you know? Fight at 60%, good damage there. Basically a maximum withering roll as well. Slap is gonna miss at 65, Nostromus in a really good spot. Win combo at 66, bonking him. Big damage, Mango can get power, doesn't get power though. I think roll assault's a one hit kill with 50 plus guts. Bite is gonna hit again, does Mango grit? Mango does grit, he's not out of it yet, he's got a 20 guts lead, he hasn't, he's dodged like one attack so far. Slap at 70. Pretty good damage. He can do two more in a row if he wants. There's the anger. Angry thwack. Ooh, this is big damage. Not enough to kill. But he can attack again. Both monsters can. Trample at 37%. It misses. Ostromus still has a lot of guts. Both monsters do another trample. It misses. But not enough time for Mango to attack. Nostromus runs down the clock with trample. Yeah, he's got anger. Here comes Twiddle Me This with the ladder. Oh my god. Twiddling Z out of nowhere. Gets him with the tail attack. Big damage on the tail attack. Into the trample at 29%. That might have been a misplay. Mango's got a huge guts lead. Hits the slap. This can do a lot of damage. 500 damage on the crit. Oh my god. Into another slap. Do we see a grit? We do not. Mango, one win away from becoming the champion of heavyweight. What a story that would be. It's how interesting how animation time ties into the game balance. It really does. Uh, for the most part, long attacks are bad because your opponent gains guts while your attack is happening, but you don't. It stalls your guts regeneration. So attacks that hit fast and hard are better than attacks that run down the clock for the most part. You can use attacks that run down the clock to your advantage in with like human control, but in AI versus AI, it's really hard to uh, make that work in your advantage more often than not. Slap at 71 misses Nostromus dodging everything. Tail attack at 51, that's going to miss as well. Mango still sitting above half health, has a pretty big guts lead. Slap at 70 is going to land there. 271 damage. It's pushed back into trample range. Mango's got a couple of options here. I don't think tail attack will kill if it lands, it misses. Mango has a very slight guts deficit at the moment, or life deficit, I should say. Thwack misses at 67. 64 misses with that as well. Nostromus dodging everything. I cannot fucking believe this. I cannot fucking believe this. There's the grit. He's got two seconds. Well, he's got about like half a second, I should say. He can make something happen. Oh, he was in range for roll assault and then didn't do it. 
I cannot fucking believe it. That is... Nostromus doesn't even deserve to win that fight. I don't think I've seen a monster dodge so many 70% in my life to win. That's... That's a statistical anomaly, that's what that is. So, that win goes to the dragon. So, not only does Nostromus win that, he wins it in the most bullshit way possible. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? This actually sucks. Let's take a look. You relishing your pain? I mean, you're the ones who don't get to watch the stream after, you know? So we got a five-way tie. We've got Tsukiko, we've got Okane Kane, we've got Mango, we've got Gamer Girl, and we've got... Oh, is it a six-way tie? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I hate this game. Nobody's got a five and two, right? It's literally just La Muerte and Tramp Sam that didn't make it. I'm genuinely upset. Mom still <laughs> raids again. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, Freeman, for the bits. I am... I don't know, man. Single elimination speed round? I think we gotta do it. It's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that we have to do it that way. But, um... Yeah, that's basically how this has to go. Do we do... Uh, I guess I gotta count up who's got it and who doesn't, you know? So, we're going to trim uh, Sukiko and Okane Kane. They did not do it. Uh, but we do have a four-way tie uh, between Mango, Gamer Girl, Nostromus, and Juvia. So, uh, I guess what we're gonna do is we are going to do a small round robin. We're going to do a four monster round robin and uh, I will be right back after I set that up. Kind of crazy. Uh, if you missed uh, the beginning or you missed and you're just tuning in right now, uh, this is what it ended up looking like. We have a six-way tie for first place. Tsukiko and Okane Kane have less game wins than Mango, Gamer Girl, Nostromus, and Juvia though. Excuse me. So they are uh, eliminated just for the sake of it. So, uh, luckily, the four monsters that are fighting are right here, so we can just use this tiny little square here as our four monster round robin. This is going to be an additional six games. Whoever wins this wins the whole thing. We will count game wins and game losses as well. So, um, Christ, I guess we gotta get into it, eh? And crop the bottom right half. I'm not even gonna crop it, we're just gonna leave it. Um, okay, so first match is Mango and Juvia. What's really funny is in something like that, you can't even use head to head because so many monsters are tied. Like, there's no fair way to do a head to head. So, we got more Monster Rancher for you, a little bit more than intended. An additional six matches at the absolute minimum. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? You like the monkey? You like Juvia? We're gonna have another monster with no weak wins tonight? Yeah, so Lager Bomb hadn't actually won a, uh, a week in the DXBL, and none of the four monsters tonight have as well either. The four monsters entered in this tournament that had won tournaments were Tsukiko, Okane Kane, La Muerte, and Tram Sam. And uh, none of them are fighting right now. Okay, here we go. Same strats for the intergalactic. You know, I feel that. Icicle Arrow's gonna miss. Both monsters missing their big nuke right off the hop. How's it going tonight, brother? It's going 
but it's going against my will. Uh, we had a six-way tie for first place. So this is the playoff. Arrow lands. Good crit there. Brings Mango down to 420. It's the weed number. Mango's got a little bit of a guts lead, though. And a life lead as well. So he's sitting kind of pretty. Six-way tie. Yeah, six monsters went three, four, and three. One monster went three and four. And one monster went one and six. The playoff of the playoff, yeah. Yeah, so it was a uh, six-way tie on game and on set wins, but then it was a four-way tie on exact game wins. So like, if you won one but you lost the set, um, that counts as a game win. And, and counting all those up, four monsters were still tied. This is all because I bet on the monkey. I jinxed it. Cold Fog 60% is going to miss. Someone needs to come up with more funny numbers. Yeah, we do need more funny numbers. Ooh, Hailstorm is going to land. Juvia is going to take game number two. Mango and Juvia. Obviously, every win here matters, like, an incredible amount. You can't, like, just lose one. You only get three matches. It's the roll assault? Is it enough? Of course it's enough. Why even ask? Mango's gonna win that game. So... That's a 2-1. For Mango. And next up we got Gamer Girl and Nostromus. So two Undines in this. Good chance for an Undine to win. It's best of five? No, it's best of three still, yeah. Okay, so that goes to Monkey Man. Prediction is live. Who do you like? I want to play video games. Hey, who is that? A dungeon dude. Thank you for the sub with Prime. Really appreciate you supporting the channel. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you to everybody from uh, Rad's Raid. Rad's Raid. That's still hanging out as well. It's always strange tuning in to another game that maybe you're not super know, um, you're knowledgeable about, or it's a game you've never even seen before. Um, I know when I raid my friends, sometimes it's awkward because they're playing something completely different that maybe my viewer base isn't too uh, keen on, but you know, I appreciate it. Will Nostromus dodge everything? We'll find out. There's the power. Power Cold Fog, this can do a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Nostrum is still hanging in there, though. Gamer Girl is as well. Ooh, the tail attack miss at 53%. Nostrum is not having a lot of luck with the tail attack. Just having luck with dodge and stuff. Wing combo hits it. Nostrum is going to win game number one, going into game two. It's the water gun, 419 damage. Nostrum is in a little bit of trouble. 75, that's gonna do that. Gamer Girl takes game number two. Two water guns back to back. It's a good deck. It's a hard deck to fight against. Oops, I accidentally pressed no. That is currently 1-1. One, one. Gotta re-enter. I've only done that twice tonight, so that's not too bad. Which Monster Rancher 2 had in Bubble Beam? <laughs> I mean, uh, Zilla's got bubbles. It's pretty close.
Okay, game three comes down to this. Every win matters because you only fight three times. Slamming down 56. This could kill. It's gonna kill 999 damage. Fuck. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I put some flex tape on that Undine. Stop the water from squirting out the sides. The Nostromus takes the win there. It, is it even worth checking the bracket in between rounds? It's only two fights per round. I, I guess we'll do it, though. I guess we'll do it regardless. Let's take a look. So, we got Mango with a win. We got Nostromus with a win. Both the Undines have lost. Um, that's all. Let's, uh, let's go back. Next up, we got Mango and we got Nostromus. So both these monsters have a win. One of them is going to go two and one. That means one of the Undines is guaranteed to not win. Because the Undines got to fight each other next. Okay, choose outcome. That went to the dragon. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Bathwater obliterated. Dude, slamming down is such a cool attack. He just like flies over. Just, I don't understand the physics on it. He takes off like a Harrier and then just like flies towards you. And then picks you up like four inches off the ground and then drops you. And that's it. King Kong vs. Mecha Godzilla 2. Oh boy. Here we go. 49 to 48. Swings it. It lands. Doesn't KO though. Not enough. The Kaiju fight. Bro, imagine how spooky like a monkey kaiju would be if it was just like sitting on its ass. Oh my god, the trample's gonna land? Undines don't have their free wins against La Muerte? Oh, that's true. That's true. Undine Mirror decides who stays and who goes? Yeah. Slamming down's gonna miss. Big slap there. Getting a lot of slaps in. There's the thwack. Mango needs that to win it, but he's going to miss. Trample at 33%. Holy fuck. Nostromus with the 2 0. Damn, dude. Hitting his nukes can't relate. I feel that. If only, you know? Lol, Lamau even. Gamer Girl and Juvia. So Nostromus is not guaranteed a win here. He's not guaranteed to be the champ yet. Uh, anything can happen in a four man round robin. Or four mon round robin, I should say. Uh, but having two wins right now is very nice. It means at absolute worst, you'll tie for first place. Prediction is live. Whoever loses this one, as I mentioned, is out of contention. So one of the Undines is going to eliminate the other Undine. But who's who, you know? Not betting in the Undine mirror? <laughs> I feel that. It's a tough one. They have very different builds, though. That's the crazy thing. It's not like actually a mirror match. Juvia is much more about like risky, high damage crits. Gamer Girl is about um, spending a lot of resources to uh, guarantee damage. You know, that's the difference. Argon in 68, miss. Oh, it hits, sorry. Gamer Girl is more of a control style. Juvia is like, I'm just gonna fucking hit the big thing. Arrow versus gun. Tail is old as time. Old Fog miss at 63%, Water Gun at 66, Water Cannon at 56. Old Geyser is going to miss at 47. Another Water Gun at 68 would be very good here. I think it's a guaranteed kill. Ice Sword, much less so. Hits the Splash, oh, big crit, not enough damage. The kill, for sure, but uh, did a lot of withering there. Oh no, Gamer Girl's going to start swinging Ice Sword. Oh my god. Oh, Ice Sword is a terrible tech. Neither of these monsters have any power. 
So uh, the Ice Sword is just dead weight, but you can't get rid of it because every Undine is inborn with it. Juvia is going to win game one. Oh no. I think uh, people that like Undine more if there's more breed variety. Yeah, there's like this one, which is the good one, and then there's two that are just objectively worse. If more things mixed with it, I think you're right. It would be more popular. Water gun at 69, 387 damage, minus 30 guts into the cold fog, not enough to kill. Procs the power, maybe not a great call. <laughs> the ice sword, you know, not the best play. Ooh, the power splash. We've seen splash hit a lot of times today. Where's the dreamy buff Chad male type Undine? It's called Gel. Have you never seen Gel? He's fucking ripped. See the chest on that man? God damn. Arrow's gonna land. Not enough to kill. Water gun at 69. That'll do it. Minus 26 guts. Gamer girl is going to win game two. Guessing the other two on Dean's are gimmick based? No, they're just objectively worse. Um, so the attacks you can get in Undine aren't breed specific. So every Undine breed has access to all the same techs. But the other ones have a slower guts regeneration rate or don't have access to like grit and Holy fuck. I mean, Gamer Girl really wanted grit there. Uh, yeah, they don't have access to grit or things like that that like give them a boost in battle. So Juvia, not out of it yet. Gamer Girl has been eliminated. The Elimination Chamber. Because there's so much RNG in this game, people tend to... Like, there's a lot of people who will just build whatever is optimal, but a lot of people, myself included, just build the thing that they think looks the coolest. Because of that- oops, my bad, that's the wrong screen. There we go. Um, because there's a lot of stuff that can happen in a match, right? And a lot of time it doesn't matter if you're like hyper, hyper optimized. Uh, sometimes just picking the thing that looks cool is better for your sanity, you know? Real tended to be worse more often than not for your Calla Lily? Yeah, for sure. I feel that. Um, okay, so we got one more match left. Mango versus Gamer Girl and Nostromus versus Ju Juvia. If Nostromus wins, he's the champ. Uncontested. Uncontested feels like a strange thing to say after what we just saw. But uh, if Mango wins and Juvia wins, we now have a three-way tie for first place. And fuck, man. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. So Mango. Are we just gonna like slowly eliminate monsters as we go? We'll eventually get to a champ. And Gamer Girl. So Gamer Girl is playing spoiler now. Nostromus winning the whole thing with 102 int would be peak Monster Rancher. It would be a really good example of what I was talking about, where like the hyper optimization, like Optimizing a monster is great and all, but RNG is very important. You can't discount it. Okay, predictions live. Who do you like? So I've heard of double elimination. Double elimination with three monsters? That's... Are we going to do triple elimination? I think real would have worked better if you did the arrow line because of the higher guts cost moves. Yeah, I, you have a point there. It could have done a little bit better. Did you have Aqua Wave and Aqua Waves? I think those would work really well in real. That's Boo the Undine. It is. It's pretty close to the Boo line. But I don't think uh, you've got Aqua Waves on yours either, right? The Roll Assault miss. He just swings it a second time. He's like, fuck it. 38%? I'm going to land that shit. Gamer Girl with a 60, 70 guts lead now. Splash would be huge here. Water Cannon will probably kill if it lands. 99 guts on Gamer Girl. You never see 99 guts. Lands at 400. Damage. You can swing it again if it wants. And it's going to 69. Put the monkey down. Gamer Girl wins game one. Didn't get those, but if you're remaking Siren, you'd probably get them now. I think Siren has some merit. It's not as good as the purebred, but like it's not so brutally outclassed that there's no reason to use it, you know? Also, I love this matchup because Water Cannon, like, the animation for it just gets completely fucked up. 
It still tracks to the ape, even though uh, the ape gets out of the way. It's just variety, yeah, for sure. Cold Fog doing a little bit of damage. Get swing a couple if she wants. There's two. Ice Sword, obviously not a good play. Missing is probably better than hitting it. This is the Thwack at 60%. Gamer Girl in a pretty good spot to land some big. There's the Roll Assault, though. Oh, God. There's the Grit. We were just talking about Grit. Grit's a battle special. You got a chance to proc Grit if your monster has it. Once they get KO'd, they come back with one health. Obviously, that is game changing. So monsters that aren't able to get it uh, can struggle. Ooh, hits the cold fog. Do we see a grit there? We do not. Gamer Girl's gonna win that one. 2-0, the grit comeback, like I was talking about. So that means both the monkey and Gamer Girl are eliminated. And it comes down to this. Nostromus with a win is the champ. With a loss, we gotta redo some of this shit again. We'll we'll have a tie. We'll have a two-way tie. Two-way tie, we just do first to five. If we have a third two-way tie going into a first to five, like if that's how every single one of these ends, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so that goes to Gamer Girl, and again, because it's potentially the last match of the night, we're going to do a longer bet. You have one minute, get your bets in. We get another damn match nine. I thought I was going to have a chance to have um, the pixie done tonight, but that's absolutely not happening anymore. That's definitely not going to happen. Moosey B money. I've got like 20 chips right now. I just went all in on the ape and I haven't had it on watching, so I haven't gained any more. Unfortunate. Two eight ties fine though. We'll just have the, the first to five tiebreaker. Monster Rancher is an experience. It is an experience. Moosey B money broke from going all in. It, you know, story of my life. A lot of RNG, I would imagine stability could prove useful in the main game. Uh. Yeah, so the monsters that do the best are the most consistent. They're the ones that have like good techs that have like 60 plus percent chance they hit. Uh, Okane Kane obviously did very well tonight. Uh, we were talking about how he's a really strong monster. He just has really cheap, like risk averse techs that do well. They just hit often, they do a solid chunk of damage. Nothing's too crazy risky. He's got like one or two risk options for uh, tanks where he doesn't need to rely on the accuracy. Looking at Nostromus' trample, you know, that's... Say less. Ah, oh, fuck. That, you know how cool that would have been if that landed? It missed, though. It missed, though. Always bet the opposite of Moosey B money. Most of the time, I am way ahead of you guys. Most of the time, I'm doing way better than you folks are. But, uh... I just go all in all the time, so I, I've been known to lose 40, 50 thousand on a bet. The amount of times I've gone all in and lost, and then by the end of the stream, I've had like another 20 thousand chips. Like, you guys don't have the cojones for that. Talk about me like that. Juvia's gonna win game one, the double splash. I don't. As a splash miss tonight. A triple ice sword combo for 21 damage. It's uh, it's pretty good. You got 30 plus on cluck consistently. No regret. It's a good monster. Missing three tramples in a row. He's like, it's what brought me here. Why change it up now? The crit ice arrow, and just like that, Juvia is the one. Just like that, Juvia wins that. So now we got a tie. Uh. And I get to bring this shit up again. One more prediction. Two minutes to get your bets in. Oh, I didn't mean to set no. Uh, Nostromus. This is a first to five. We had a first to five in lightweight on Monday. We had a first to five in middleweight yesterday. And we've got a first to five tonight. On both Monday and Tuesday, it went to game nine. 
Will it go to game 9 again? You know what kind of, uh... Like, what kind of an ending that would be? We've had just the most, like, evenly right. matched monsters of all time. Coyote. Is it Coyote or is it Cody? I'm gonna say Coyote. That's uh, Garfield's friend. Um, we need this thing. Bop. So yeah, two game nines, and then this shit that went to an additional four-person round robin and into a best of nine. First to five, I I don't know. Cod, I got it right. Okay, sick. You got about thirty-five seconds left. Get those bets in. Who do you like? God damn. What a night, man. This is your last chance to bet tonight. We got 50k on Nostromus. We got 30 on Juvia. All in Nostromus don't let you down like you let Gamer Girl. Like, like you let down Gamer Girl. You got brothers. So yeah, again, if you guys are also new to the channel, you might uh, be unaware, but I have a lot of like really goofy channel point uh, redemptions, a lot of like animations and stuff. If you're coming from Rad's channel, here, I'll do this one for free because you guys, you guys will know what this is about. Hey, now you're a man. You guys already know. And yeah, if you want to see more stuff like this, exclamation mark discord. We play this game, we play fighting games a lot. A Fire Emblem game would be like? Oh man. Oh shit. Okay. It finishes with 51.7 thousand on Nostromus, 36.9, so 58 to 42 in Nostromus' favor. Let's get it. Let's go. Hits the slamming down on the opener. Big damage. Monster Rancher, RNG, and Fire Emblem. Just throw them both in XCOM. There you go. The most the most unfun game of all time. Branquius, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. I do a tangent then have some render an in-game trophy for 3D printing. Uh yeah, that, that stuff's cool. It's just, it's very time intensive, and I haven't had time to do anything like that. One must fall, hell yeah. Ooh, wing attack. I don't know, sorry, tail attack. That's going to do it for game one. Nostromus with the grit comeback. I love one must fall. It's the best two button fighting game. There's not another fighting game out there with two buttons that's better. You want to live in the world where the dragon wins? Well, he's he's almost up 2-0. Dive kick? It's better than dive kick. Oh my god, he went for tra trample again? Jesus Christ. Dive kick's a fun gimmick until you've played it for more than like two hours and you're like, I, I want to do literally anything else. Trample again? Fuck it, swinging. That was, um... Not, not a great use of your guts, Nostro. You know, he had about 33 to 35% chance. He swung it three times. He landed it once. That's how math works. So it's one all. Icicle arrow, good opener, 466. I think that's, yeah, it's definitely enough to kill on a crit. Slamming down with anger. This is going to do so much withering. Look at this. Minus 72 guts. All of Juvia's resources are gone. The bite misses at 60%. Juvia is back in it, but does not have a lot of guts. Has about a 15 guts lead. Cold Geyser hits. It crits. Needed the crit to kill. Juvia up 2-1. Game 3. Game 4, sorry. Icicle Arrow, the one hit kill. Juvia pulling away. Oh no, if you're a dragon fan. Geyser's so bad. Yeah, Geyser's pretty awful. It's only got 11 force. 
And again? No crit this time. Tail attack at 58. Wing attack at 66. Hits the wing attack. A little bit of damage there. Ice arrow at 57. Nostromus not really dodging anything anymore. He's in trample range. We know what that means. Tail attack? Ooh, tail attack can kill on a crit here. Doesn't get the crit, though. Ice sword. Uh, absolutely not what Juvia wants. Tail attack's gonna land again? So, he's still in it. He's got two wins on the board. Yesterday, we saw a monster go 4-2 and two and lose it. After being up two full games. Juvia needs two more games to win this. Nostromus needs three. This is the slamming down. Pretty rough. Arrow at 66. Good crit on that. She still has a ton of guts. Swings it again. Misses that time. Splash at 50-50. Old Geyser at 56. Again, needs the crit to kill if she goes for it. Old Fog at 70. That's going to miss as well. Two in a row. Hits the second one. It's not enough. Nostrum is still in it. Trample at 35%. He hits it! Holy fuck! And then stares off into the crowd afterwards. Oh my god. We got three apiece. We got three apiece. It's not ending. Icicle arrow. Slamming down. Neither monster swinging first. Oh, I lied. There's the slamming down. A crit can kill. Doesn't get it though. Juvia gets power immediately. Ice arrow at 60%. It lands. That's enough to kill. Guaranteed. So, Juvia now on tournament point. Nostromus needs to win two in a row. Tramples the new slash combo. Many people are saying this. Splash at 48%, tail whip miss at 55. Juvia is hit with that tail whip. Has a lot of guts, but is on Ice Sword. Ooh, the first miss is actually really good for her. Old Fog miss at 71 as well. Into the Ice Arrow at 58. No crit on that one. Nostromus with a little bit of a gut. So he goes for the Trample at 35. Holy fuck. Cold Fog at 73. Decent damage there. Two in a row. Does he get grit? If not, it's over. No grit. Juvia is going to win it. We had a game 8 this time. We did not have a game 9. She wins 5-3. GG's. Juvia is the champ. Juvia wins it. I was hoping Nostromus won it. I'm not going to lie. I think one of the... Uh, what do you call it? One of the stipulations for making it into the championship rounds next season is going to be you have to enter more than one tournament. Because both uh, Juvia and Lagerbomb won after only winning a single tournament. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. That's how I set up the, the league. But uh, I would like to see monsters that have fought more times have a shot, you know? Okay, so what is it, 10.53? We still got about an hour before the stream's over, so I'm gonna take a quick break, get some more water, and we'll be back with some pixie raising. I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope you enjoyed that tournament. I guess I should stop the recording now.